Hey all, this is Urs, and welcome back, or not welcome back, welcome back to the channel, but welcome to the inaugural episode of our Scandi Melee. Um, we are, as you can see, about to be thrust into a 10 Scandinavian Civ fight for dominance over this scrap of the North Sea, which contains pretty much all the cool, wonderful countries all in that region, and I will be playing, uh, you might have guessed this already, the, uh, the Normans. I will be playing out of Normandy, not necessarily geographically out of Normandy, but with William the Conqueror as uh, my avatar in this game. The Chevalier, the Mont Bailey, a lot of cool things to do. I talked about this in the opening. Let's not belabor the point and see where we spawned at. Uh, pretty cool. So we got us um, some ruins right off the bat. That's cool. Uh, we got triple luxury. We have coast. Some lumber mills we're going to need to get pretty quickly for production. They're going to be production starved. Uh, but yeah, this looks like a pretty good spot to settle. So I'm going to settle. But right before I do, let's talk about the mods. Let's talk about the mods. That's kind of what we're here. Uh, events and decisions, as always, they enrich our playing experience. Uh, a lot of the civs here. So Knights Templar. Knights Templar is a, is a wonder, actually, from one of the older civ games. They got imported here. Basically, you build this thing. Comes with theology, I do believe. And every 10 turns or so, they give you a long sword with blitz. <laughs> That's pretty cool, uh, basically. And once you get rifling, uh, you get culture from it instead. So, not too shabby. I like it. I'm going to see if I can't swing it in this game to show you how it works. Because the model for the, the uh, Teutonic Knight or the Knight Templar coming out of there is pretty damn cool. Uh, Mercenary Arm Expandix. It worked well last game. I liked it. I'm going to leave it in here. More luxuries, more pantheons. The Northern Europe map pack. This is what gives us the uh, Northern Europe map. So uh, make sure you check that out, because if you ever want to play on a Scandinavian map, that's where it is. Uh, Special Forces upgrade for the Marine. We didn't. We got to use it once. We got Delta Force. We might get Delta Force again. And the Kalmar Union, of course, is the last Civ we're playing with. That's the mods. It's a uh, ten Civ game on a bigger than standard map. Good times, good times. Let's not delay. Uh, settler settling time. On this spot, please. So yeah, we're gonna be a little shy on production here. I'm going to hope horses show up one of these days, but until that time, uh, let's get the scout monument in that order, and let's quickly, quickly get these uh, ruins under our belt here. Free culture. Okay. Cool. So we're almost already to one of our openers, and it's going to be hard to judge which way to do that this early. Do we roll shrine, or let's see if we can get some production. I'm actually going to go husbandry first for a change. Uh, we'll have time to get the luxury techs as they come through. Oh, we're, we're, we could have had one more copper here, but at least we'll have one in range. It should be fine. Probably still another city by the mountain anyway, so it'll be all right. I want to get this other uh, ruin as quickly as possible so we don't really delay that. If we do get an extra pop, I might as well get it early. All right, and we should be rolling. What else we got? Uh, yeah, we're going to take a couple turns to do that, I think. But uh, onward and upward, really. Oh, we have another luxury here. We got quadruple luxuries in our capital. Damn, that's pretty good quintuple luxuries in our capital okay i have never seen this before this could be an effect of extra luxuries and the map template but you know what i'm gonna take this uh this benefit all right we got another ruin got some cows not a lot of hills here we are gonna be production starved so i'm going to construction early getting lumber mills up is gonna be a priority it rarely is most of the time but it's gonna be a uh, very important thing for us right now I do say so myself. A lot of luxuries available, though, and that's nice. We'll be able to support a lot of cities with this. So you can say, maybe go Liberty. Maybe I will, but I think I'm still going to open Tradition first, at least to get the border growth, because that's a big boost. Just to power out the first couple um, first couple policies, then we'll probably maybe look into Liberty. Try Change it up a little bit this game. Change it up a bit. City-states. Barbarians. Excellent. Well, we don't care about them so much. Let's get some more things. Wow, we got two really useless ones. Where are the Barbarian encampments at? Uh, there and there. So where are we? We may be... Are we in the south of the map? If we're in the south of the map, like I suspect we may be, we could be in northern... The north part of Western Europe. So kind of Denmark, uh, maybe the Netherlands out on the west. I'm not sure. It's a little weird. Let me open tradition first until we figure out... Because I don't want to hit liberty necessarily and then realize I'm in a really small slip of land and nowhere to settle. That's the worst. Liberty, I mean, only makes sense if you do five plus cities. If not, then you might as well stick with tradition. I don't see any neighbors yet, so honor doesn't really make sense. And we could start piety, but it's probably the weakest start. Piety is a good supplement. So that's kind of what I'm thinking on policies right now. 
We'll see how it rolls. We'll see how it rolls. Uh, Olive's here. Damn, there's a lot of luxuries by our capital, I gotta say. Kabul. Yeah, we may have started out here, um... Yeah, we might have started in the south of the world. Carl! Oh, bloody marvelous. Where the hell are you? Actually, where the hell are you? Oh, you went from the west of Kabul. Okay, so I guess we are that where I think I am. No, we could be further south. This could be something else. I'm not certain. I'm really sad he got cobbled before I did, though. So we have the angry Swedes there, along with Gustavus Adolphus, which would also be the angry Swede. Uh, and then we're not sure what else is going on. But yeah, that works for Rouen. Unfortunately, not a lot of production available. We're going to keep doing the best we can here. And I'm still not entirely certain where I want to go with my... No. No, you want to kill me already. I know. I know how this works, buddy. Um... No, we might not be there, actually. Where are we? That's a good question. No, I think this is the south of the world. Let's see. Yep, okay, so we are in the southern slip. We have someone to our west, but we can block them off with decent city placement. So we're not too worried. So really, the expansion is going to be in this direction. And I have this sinking feeling I'm not going to have that much room. Uh, that's a lot of money available right now. I'm going to need to use that to maybe buy something early. Because like I said, it's production does seem to be at a premium here. Uh, that's a lot of cows, though. We can settle another city here comfortably without another luxury, but since we have, like, five or seven in our capital, I lost count how many we have near our capital. There's horses. Uh, nothing in our capital. Damn, I was really counting on that. We're gonna need these, honestly, for our mounted units, but it looks like, I mean, to power our conquests along, it looks like we're not gonna get lucky on that. That's a lot of luxuries, though. I'm gonna be strategic star of this game, too, I'm afraid. That's, you think, it's like, oh my god, epic start, FTW. Yeah, it, it's okay. Uh, lacking production is not good early, and also, I mean, this many resources, like I said, is gonna militate against strategics later, so... Uh, I'm not, not that much of a fan of this. Um, trying to see how I can mitigate this. I'm obviously gonna drop a city here, because it's gonna be way too big, way too strong not to. That's really the thing about one. Uh, we're gonna need another one to block off the Swedes and control the, uh, citrus trade, so that's probably gonna be, like, two... Three for the research bonus, maybe four. So that four settlements already? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, so maybe Liberty makes sense. Let's go Liberty this game. What the hell? It'll be fun. Uh, try that a little differently. I haven't gone Liberty any time, and it looks like if that's my only competition for space, uh, it may actually work. Hi, Barbarians. Didn't see you there. Um, and Liberty might actually help us also to control our... Um, production issue, because they give you extra production toward buildings and productions in each city, so that, I think, may be the optimal route right now, is go Liberty, drop cities early to block off the Swedes, and then go for broke. We're going to need a worker, though, too. It's going to be important. Hi, Vatican. Thank you. Are we almost about to grow, or do we... No, it's fine. Free trapping. Oh, nice. Really? Sweet. Advanced tech. Cool. Uh, I don't know if that's good it's going to do us, but it'll be something. Oh, yeah, but it looks like Liberty's going to be the way to go. Early Settler to block off the Swedes, probably. Um, here, probably drop another Settler up this direction. That Settler's probably going to go... One, two, three. Might be able to snag this wine, too. I might drop that Settler here, honestly. Going to have to probably build some defensive buildings there. Uh, we can build all these with Mott and Baileys, though. That's going to be pretty cool. Uh, all right, yeah, I mean, that's the plan for now. Let's, let's roll it. Let's roll. Let's roll Liberty start and see how it works. It's usually not the strongest start, but I'm not complaining at this point. I got a pretty, I think, cushy, safe place that I started this game on. That's William the freaking Conqueror, oddly enough. So, you know, we'll see what we can do. But let's go with Liberty. So we want to go Republic Collective Rule quickly, and then a free, um... A free, uh, worker. So, I'm not sure what will be more useful this one. I think the early settler is still more important right now. Um, but we'll... We need to worker steal, obviously, for some of these cities. Ow, you're a prick. Okay, this is going to start hurting in about two seconds. All right, so that's pretty much the edge. We can't really get past the Vatican too much, I don't think. This is pretty much Denmark. We might be able to duck over here. So, yeah, that is the city settlement plan. Liberty, drop a bunch of cities, and then work on infrastructure in that order. Uh, all right, we're isolated. Let's do this right. Let's take the advantage to drop out a lot of infrastructure early. Try to make nice nice with Carl. Make sure he doesn't try to maul us too badly and go from there. Um, yeah, this mountain range is pretty safe from our east, too, which is really nice. This is gonna start hurting, though, so our scout needs to defend a little bit. Yeah, you keep going here, because when we get that settler out, it's gonna be relatively soon. 
If I'd known that, I would probably sped the settler out even faster, but I can't really afford that right now. Something attack my scout. Yeah, it's okay. That guy's gonna die from the city, so scout keep healing. Scout gonna scout. Let's keep going this way. Yeah, our production here is really poor, so like I said, the issue is gonna be making sure we can actually get that settler out in a reasonable amount of time. <sighs> it's gonna be plus one production in every city. That's gonna, I mean, oddly enough, that's gonna help out a lot right now because I'm so starved. Starved? Uh, let's go calendar for our luxury. We're gonna get mining for our luxury tech. Uh, what do we build here? Well, we're gonna build more peoples, build more mans. We have enough food, so let's start doing workers. God knows we need more production where that came from. If we get some mines up, that's gonna be helpful too. You know what, Leshy? You know what? Let me do mining instead of calendar. Um, we took a turn off there, but this will be faster for luxury anyway, and it'll get us uh, this better. A little bit of production. Every little bit's going to help, and that mine in Flatland is going to be good. Okay, so he's... We know now the Vatican is over there. Uh, we'll obviously need to be defending our settler in a little bit, um, but let's just explore with the warrior. I want my scout to heal up before he really goes off anywhere else. Um, my guess is there's not much up there to see. And I think, you know, the way this is probably going to play out is like Carl's going to try to drop cities right in front of me and we're going to have a problem with him pretty much the whole game. We may have to deal with him first and foremost. Yeah, some more barbarians. I'll let my warrior check out what else is there. Oh, more olives. Yeah, so definitely coastal city with olives here probably. Maybe right there on the olives to um, control this terrain a little better. That'll probably work. Ground has grown. Nice. Well, no production, so that's all we got for now. Let's keep locking these tiles. Eventually turn them into mines and that'll be handy. Uh, next turn. Yeah, we're going to be really shy on this whole settler thing. Uh, I might just try to start cranking one of those guys out now, actually. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Settler, 18 turns for a settler. Good God, there's really no better way to do this, is there? Well, there's 16 we can do. No money coming in, but that's a lot faster. That's two turns faster. Is that worth it? Eh, it probably is, honestly. Um, all right, let's go take a look over here. Maybe we can steal a worker from the Vatican or something. I'm going to need a worker, obviously. It's just a no-brainer at this point. Very obvious thing. Uh, let's go here. Uh, you, you're done exploring this way. I need to bring my warrior back here to keep an eye out for any uh, Swedish settlers rolling in, because that would be irritating. What did you go anyway, buddy? You went, what, honor? Yeah, big surprise. So he's gonna. I think he's going to be like Swedish Monty right now. That'll be interesting. Uh, yep, you need to go away. Go north, go north. Ooh, actually a lot more land up here that I didn't know. Good thing we went Liberty. Uh, yeah, early settlers still gonna be important, so Republic. And next turn. I'm still waiting on that worker from the Vatican at some point. Uh, 20 Faith. Yay, does that mean we get a Pantheon, pretty much? Yeah, next turn we get a Pantheon. Epic. That's nice. Nice boon uh, with that uh, event early. We can get some production from something. Oh, there's cotton up here. Damn. Okay, so this is the other side of Denmark. Uh, the other part of the peninsula, I suppose. So, yay. So, there's that. We got even more room to settle in case we do get blocked in by the Swedes, but I'm going to try to stop them from doing so. Um, wow, even more. There's so many luxuries on this map. Good God. Okay, so, what do we got? We got copper. We also got perfume. So let's maybe do faith here. Uh, one faith in gold, silver, and copper. We have a bunch of copper. Uh, what else do we get? Faith from salt and perfume. So we got perfume. So we can potentially have, what, two copper more or less? This is probably going to be out of range, not workable. Do we have incense anywhere or just perfume? Yeah. Eh. It's not great. It's max two faith regardless. Um, any production ones? Whales, crabs, and coral. That's plus two production. There's a lot of plus twos here. Uh, plus one production from iron, copper, and coal. That might not be bad. Because we are already production starved as it is. I make these really strong tiles. We'll lose this eventually, though, without a faith pantheon. Yeah, all this is not that easily justifiable. Though by then, though, hopefully we'll have workshop be able to get this early infrastructure up. I think I may do this, actually. Let's go... Oh, wait, coffee, tea, and cocoa. That's not going to be founded for a little while yet. Um... Well, they'll be found relatively soon. Oh, God damn it! all these options. I think, given how starved we are in production, I normally go for Faith Pantheons, but since I can't really justify it right now, I think I'm going to take an early boost from the production on the Copper Tiles, and that will be... Where are you? Production from Iron, Copper, and Coal. Let's take the God of Fire. 
and we are gonna reallocate citizens here. Perfect, and we're still now within 10 turns. This can be a lot better. Nine turns this way? Oh. Cool, let's do that. Um, yes, epic. All right, good, 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 good. So we got a little more production out. That's gonna help. I think that was the right choice, given, given our situation. Uh, what is our situation, Dad? Uh, if you know the movie, you know what the next line is. Uh, calendar. Uh, next, onward. Onward and upward. Lord Manaheim. Breathe the air of our lakelands. Feel the peace of this untouched wilderness. This is Finland. Hey, Goosey. What's up? Another Gustav. A lot of these Gustavs hanging around here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna drop a city there. Block off the Swedes. That's job one, I think. And after that, we're gonna start... Oh, the Finns are up here. So not as much room as I thought. Make it blocked in a little more. So we're gonna start to start settling pretty hard. Uh, if we're gonna take advantage of that Liberty start. So let's, let's do it, huh? Nope. So we need to probably block these guys off too in some way. That's okay. We'll probably be able to do that without too much issue. So let's keep an eye out for any Swedish settlers. It's kind of like Swedish fish, except settlers. Uh, we're going to keep an eye out on you, friend. Just in case you do try to sneak a settler past me. And I might try to steal a worker from the Vatican if I can in the interim. What I would really not want to see now is suddenly um, a Swedish settler going, Hello! Uh, would you like some lutefisk? And then we're screwed. Uh, I don't think all Swedes actually like Ludifisk. Is that stereotypical? Probably, but that's alright. It's a fun game. Uh, no. But he's already got a huge infrastructure going on her, so I'm not sure what he's on, but he's on something good. Hey, I got the coffee. Barbarians, not so much a big deal yet. Uh, can we see? Ah, there's Helsinki. Beautiful. Well, the Finnish capital's right there. So it looks like we're gonna get this settler out and another settler in nine turns. That's probably going to be handy. Let's go here. We're probably going to want to build the pyramids, too, honestly, for those workers. Or we're going to have diddly production, honestly. All right, so we don't see settlers from Sweden yet. If we do, we need to kill them. That's pretty much the job here. Like I said, I'm probably going to drop right here just to if, see if we can snooch siwoochie that wine and control the cows a little bit more. And this will be a good choke point, too, with the Mott and Bailey. So that's kind of my plan here. Oh, dear, there's an archer. Well, what can you do? Is that a settler you're escorting? No, it's not. Good. I will go up there and see more, but first I need to control uh, the settlement spots in a bit. Okay, so this archer is probably going to die before our settler comes out. Yeah, there's two more shots, so that'll be fine. Let's go out here and take a peek at the Finns. Um, no Swedish settlers. No Swedish settlers. Yay. I like that. That's a good, good turn of events for me. I don't want to see that at all, ever. If I can be helped. Uh, also, he's not going to die completely because of the cover from the forest. Okay, not much up there. Okay, no Swedish settlers. Good. Yeah, Swedish settlers too strong. Settle too hard. Okay, where are you going to go? Hey, buddy. If we get my settler out this way, I'm probably going to be able to bait the archer. If we go here, we can still bait the archer, because that is um, zone of controllable. But now we're going to have to make sure we clear this way, because there's still barbarian encampment down there. But if the archer decides to move here, he's going to get baited by the city. That is ZOC? That is ZOC, yes. Yeah, so this is still safe. Um, then let's go... We're going to need archery to defend ourselves. Obviously, um, Sweden is here, so we're going to need to deal with that. What do we got up here? Turku? Okay, he he's expanding north, so that's a good sign. He likely will not be expanding south then. It, duh. He's going north. Um, hi, die. Thank you. Go here. And we're going to keep dropping that city where we're planning. I know there's so many good spots to drop, computer. I'm, I'm more than aware. All right, so yeah, Finns are going north. Let's make sure they don't go south too. Did he go liberty is the question. If he did... No, he went tradition. Okay. Good. Good so far. I'm going to wait... For a move. You know what? Let me move here in case I do need to save my settler with my warrior. Actually, you know what? Let's go here with the warrior and save my settler if need be. I think we're still working good tiles thanks to that God of Fire. That's actually a really nice uh, pantheon. I like that. I like that early production from something that's not uh, workboats. That's going to be a huge help. All right, so we'll probably need to crank out another worker, maybe an archer after this. I haven't decided yet. Um, we probably will not need another scout, given how limited our terrain is currently as it stands. Uh -oh. I'm going to drop one city here, 
And let's see, yeah, keep an eye on the fins, make sure they're not rolling out um, dudes, so to speak. We're going to keep growing here. Probably going to need granaries since we're not going to get that massive food boost that we normally rely on on tradition. So let's just go granary next, I think. Probably steal a worker from Vatican. I might irk this, the fins a bit with that. They're probably going to be uh, protecting them, but you know, I got to I got to choose my friends here. Um, all right, yeah, let's go down this way. Yeah, there's a worker. All right, so are you under the protection of anyone? No, you're not under the protection of anyone. Hi there, worker. Would you like to join the mighty Normans in their conquests of the known world? I bet you would, friend. I bet you would. I know you would, actually. What am I talking about? Everyone wants to join the Normans in their conquests. Pfft, duh. Oh, stupid question. All right. Okay, so first city. First city going down. Uh, right her. We're going to be a little unhappy here, which is unfortunate, but we're going to get a luxury up, and we should be fine after that. Uh, yeah, kind of a downer with that unhappiness, but we're going to make do. Sucks that we're going to cripple early growth a bit. That's the issue with uh, Liberty a little bit. You you tend to expand really hard really early. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, should I buy wine right now? Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's part of the reason I went here. Gaon is here. Oh, no, three food... Production is better, monument first, and then probably granary, but we'll worry about the monument first. Can we get a worker over here? Can I get a worker? Can I get a witness? No, okay. Uh, there's the worker. I want that one still. Start building a farm. I know you want to. I'm friendly. My name is only William the Conqueror. I mean, that's my moniker, I guess. Technically, it's Will... Ah! Uh, worker. I are angry at thee. Okay, free settler. If we do this, our happiness is going to absolutely plummet. Um, that said, though, I do want another settler to block off terrain. I also need another worker to help this out. That worker's about to come out. The settler takes a lot longer to build than a worker does. Let me see. Is that still the case? E probably. Yeah, yeah, it's about the same, honestly. So, but that'll slow down growth. So it may make sense to take free worker first, get my happiness up, and then go free settler? Does that make sense? So we're not growing now anyway. And with double workers will double my double mint gum. Ah, you know what? The early settler is going to be so important that I'm going to steal another worker as it stands. So let's take that free settler, and then we'll get the worker up. Uh, yeah, collective rule. It'll speed the production of settlers too, so that's going to be important. And we're going to roll you up this way, friend, to, to start blocking off this terrain. We're going to set settle probably right here. To, we're going to settle another city here, obviously, to control the coast, but we're going to settle right there to have the pass, get the observatory bonus, get all these cows. Uh, we're going to settle up here for the olives, and this is going to be two unique luxuries as well, so that's nice. Yeah, I didn't probably have to buy that uh, wine, but, you know, let's not let the city-state get it, yeah? Okay, now let's see, can we steal a worker from you? I'm not sure. Who's in the... Please tell me. Okay, so I'm if that's Carl, I'm going to cry. It was highly likely that was going to be the case. What do we got here? We got... Yeah, we already have calendar, we already have mining, so that's already a plus. Hey, there's a worker. Are you under protection of anyone? No. Okay, so we can worker steal here, and that's going to be more important, because Kayan is right here, and we need to start building stuff immediately. Make peace. Thank you. Close. And we're going to get an improvement going right here with a bunch of luxuries, and we should be fine. I do need a military unit guarding my workers here, though, otherwise it's going to be a problem. But let's just get my settler. Jesus! Ah, oh, I should really be moving one at a time. That's frustrating. He's gonna go right for that settler, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Well, that is a downer. We need to get us a uh, an army up there stat. Otherwise, we're gonna lose that guy for good. So which camp is he going to go to? If he goes to the camp to the south, I might be able to intercept him in the time. Oh, well, so that happened. Uh, it happens. We're going to see if we can get some more production with iron here uh, before long. But for now, though, let's see if we can't... Yeah, warrior in six turns. I can't really afford to build another one of these. Oh, archer in six turns. Let's build one of these. I'm going to need that. I'm not growing now anyway because of the unhappiness issue. So let's go here. Um... Well, it's all dangerous right now because that's where the camp is. We're going to have to destroy the camp at some point. So, yeah, that happened. It happens. I sometimes lose my settlers because I'm an idiot. We will persevere. Okay, this is good now. Holy crap, there's a lot of barbarians. Uh, we need to go here and deal with them now, post-haste. Uh, you, wow, you're gonna, I'm going to lose that worker, too. we got to really intercept this guy. 
We're gonna be pushing pretty hard to intercept him. We're gonna ignore this archer for now. Uh, and yeah, because he's gonna run back to his camp. That's what he wants. This guy's gonna take pot shots at my warrior. Not the big deal because city's taking pot shots at him. That's not a big issue at the moment. We'll probably be able to intercept this just about right on time. Go here. Go here. Roll out this way. We're going to keep chasing him. We're going to go up here and start improving this, since now we know that side is more or less safe. And yeah, sometimes it works out like this. You're aggressive with your settler, and you do dumb shit like let a barbarian take it. Always escort your settlers. I thought I'd have enough time. I did not. Holy crap, and now we're in trouble. All right, let's heal up, kill you, heal up some more, keep chasing that. And this is going to be irritating. Um, barbarians are very smart these days, it seems. They went to combat school, decided to learn how to leverage their talents. Yeah, I took the instant heal on that warrior. It was ne is necessary to get my uh, settler back. And this is now officially a problem, because that guy's going to be able to get to his camp exactly right, like that. And we're going to have to bomb him down with our scout, but that's all right. Uh, it'll force me to get an archer out, which I probably would delay anyway, and then have uh, Carl take me for pretty much all I'm worth anyway. And at this point, it's not the absolute worst thing to be dealing with this right now, because I can't settle in good conscience and without destroying my happiness. So it's actually quite all right uh, for the moment. I'm trying to say that to make myself feel better, as you can clearly tell. Uh, <laughs> but I think we're okay. I really do uh, with this. I'm going to take you a tile back. You know, I'm going to take you a tile here and then heal up. Because I'm going to need to get this settler back. Mm, no, not yet. Wow, he really wants me dead, huh? Well, I'm going to roll this guy out then, uh, since that guy obviously desires my death in a very short time period. I'm going to get some production up here in Kayan. Uh, to do that, now we have an archer now to make this all gravy. And that should be fine. Let's get that granary out and probably get another settler out. I uh, can't kill the brute, but we can heal up here. Maybe he'll blow himself up on us, and then we'll be able to retake our settler. And then we'll be able to settle up here as initially planned, as we foresaw. <sighs> yeah, this happens. When this happens, just don't worry about it. You'll deal with it. It'll be seriously. Okay, that's just a little frustrating. I'm going to keep pinging at this, though, because it's more than worth it. Heal up. Um, you do the pasture. We're going to need it. And how close are you to plantation? Good. Finish that. Okay, so now we're definitely good on happiness. We're going to get a granary up and then another settler out. Nope. Not right now, friend. I may start trading for luxuries here. Uh, just one for one, so we have doubles of pretty much everything we have. We have iron. Oh, bloody brilliant. Where is that tile? Forget the money. I need this. That's what I need right now. Extra production in my capital. That is balls to the wall perfect. All right. You uh, go scouting since you won't be killing much more right now. Anyway, and then can we kill this? Reclaimed our settler. Excellent. Okay, so now we're going to send him up here. Assuming the Finns haven't got there first. And roll in this way. Kill this. Well, let's just do a... Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to do a run by anyway. Because we want to put him in Cayenne to station him to guard against the Swedes. Um, awesome. And now we have more, even more reason to settle right here because that will give us the iron and the horse. That's a huge, huge boon for us. Probably up here again with the cows and the olives right there. Yeah, this is good. good thing I went Liberty because we're going to want to drop a lot of cities. We have so many luxuries. We can support a lot of people. Um, all right, so writing now philosophy to get into classic. I might, you know what? Let's go to classical through optics. We need sailing for these luxuries as it stands. Kaya has grown. Very nice. I want you to go here because that'll eventually become production, and that's going to be necessary. That's going to grow soon, though, too. i got to remember that's going to be a lot of production um, thanks to my Pantheon. All right. And now this part is more or less safe from barbarian encroachment. We're probably going to use our archer as our settler for now. Our archer as our settler escort for now. And also, hopefully, controlling the Finns' territorial ambitions down here. I really want to draw the city quickly because I fear that delay may have um, piqued his appetite for landing a settler right on my face. Uh, let's go here for now. You just queue up here and heal. How about that? Next turn. Yeah, I just don't want to see a finished settler right there. I'm, I'm really hoping he won't because he's settling north. We went with Liberty, we just got another settler pretty quick, but like I said, the AI gets all them production bonuses, so let's make that uh, make that happen. 
Hey, Scout. Just keep going, yeah. And the Scout's now going to heal up a bit, and then we're going to go west to see what the Swedes are up to. Keep going, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. It's really important that we keep rolling. Uh, yep, you heal up. Next. Yeah, these early settlements are important uh, to get in, especially when you go Liberty. You really need to start muscling out into territory um, early, and that's really your defense. It's not really uh, ICS. ICS is effectively dead. Oh, hey, that's right. We're going to trade for luxuries, weren't we? Hey, bucko. Jade for perfume? Cool. Uh, Finland, would you like wine for citrus? Cool. Okay, we're going to double up on all these, obviously, so now we'll be able to get even more happiness to support our people. Very good. All right, so now we can get even more production out of this, so let's do that. It's already growing pretty fast here. I want more production. And thanks to that Pantheon belief, I think we may have licked our production problems for the moment. Uh, we don't have oligarchy. It's not saving us money, so why don't we just stay there? Come on, come on, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, this is the, uh... Oh, extra magistrate. How nice. Not really my concern at the moment. Oh, God, I was a fr Oh, crap, I almost that was a settler. That would've been horrible. Um, you. Yep, you finished granary. One turn to grow. Let's put one turn into... An archer, and then we'll switch out to a settler next turn. Oh, hi there, camp I didn't see. Is it gonna happen again? Holy crap, they just popped up, so they just fortified. Damn, that would have been twice in one game where I did something derpy. That would have been sad, but now we have another camp to clear out, as we just found, so let's do that. Um, with Extreme Prejudice very shortly. Okay, so now we're settling. We're settling, we're settling, and we're settling, and we're settling. We're going to need to keep archers kind of spamming out here a little bit just because the Swedes are to the west and angry Swedes, not friendly Swedes, not Oscar Swedes. Uh, the angry Swedes are there. So, granary to keep growing, I think makes sense. This is now another liability for me. I got to clear this camp, like I said, with that archer. Guan has grown yet again. Let's get more production out. Can we get more production out? Uh, how much faster is settler? Nope. That's no faster, so let's just lock down there. That's fine. It'll have to do for now. Uh, you're done there. Great. We can start making iron mines, so let's get more production up that way. And the scout's now going to go west. Then we might go back up to see what the fins are up to. Hey, we're, we're a little barbarian heavy here, I gotta say. There's a lot of barbarian presence. And like I said, the plan was to settle next to the mountain here. We get all the cows, we get the horses, we get the iron... And we get the T, so rock on, settler. Spread the Norman ways elsewhere. Beautiful, okay. So once this settler comes out, we're dropping him here to control this side of the continent, and then we're pretty much settled out. Um, yeah, I might want to drop him where? I already got the olives, Jesus. <laughs> the capital's really spreading hard. Yeah, the combination of the tradition border spread with a bunch of city dropping really increases your borders exponentially, I found. Um, but yeah, so far so good. We're, we're really busily locking down the continent. I want to get another city in here somewhere, probably here on the coast, um, to lock out these cows to control uh, the destruction that way and to have another coastal city for trade and also for production of, of naval vessels when that becomes a necessity. I will soon. I want uh, triremes up here sooner than not. Did I misclick? I did. It's okay. Cayenne, you grew. Nice. More production. You know what I'm thinking. As soon as we get writing, uh, we didn't get writing yet. Ah, that's... I'm starting to think. Nah, it's just probably fine. Let's do this this way. It's okay. We're going to be coastal. We're rel relatively safe for now. Let's just do it that way. Uh, Monument Granary and go from there. What else we got? Scout, right? You're going... Well, you're going to go west, obviously, to make sure we see what's going on that way. But we're going to need to defend our borders a little more from all the barbarian hordes that are encroaching upon us. But until then, good sirs, good ladies, everyone who watches this channel, thank you so much for joining me for this partially derpy first episode of the Normans. And we're still doing well. We're still spamming out settlers just like a good Liberty Civ does. And we're going to keep doing this until we run out of luxuries. And that does not seem like it's going to happen anytime soon. We have unique luxuries aplenty. And we're going to keep leveraging that to drop five cities early, uh, get that national college up, and then go nuts. Crazy go nuts uh, is the plan. We just finished that. I was just going to end the episode. I'm going to end the episode now. Thank you so much. I will see you next time as we continue this journey with the Normans and the Scandi Melee. I will see you then. Till then.